You're tuned in to the Brand Ambassador Select Podcast. Welcome back to the Brand Ambassador Select Podcast, where we are showcasing the coolest brands and gifts while featuring movers and makers. I'm your host, Lenore, and don't let that foot pain hold you back. Improve your quality of life with AOS Orthotics. Their creator, Dr. Christopher Patrick, joins us on this episode to share the benefits of incorporating these orthotics into your life. Dr. Chris, welcome to the Brand Ambassador Select Podcast. Thank you for having me. I'm so excited. You sent us a sample of your orthotics in the mail today, the AOS. Now tell us all about why you made, because this is your this is your baby, why you right. made these orthotics that actually can be catered to everybody's individual needs. So we wanted to create the solution. Being in outpatient orthopedics for a, a while now, I kind of saw where the faults were in the field and we wanted to improvise and make a solution for individuals out there, not only from athletes, but to weekend warriors and geriatrics as well. And we utilize top tier materials, carbon fiber, and then others to design a product that really fits all individuals needs, whether it's pathology specific or if someone requires custom. Um, and that's really been our passion and what we're striving for. So what's a weekend, a weekend warrior, like a runner? Is that is that it? Because that's not me. I know I'm definitely not the weekend warrior. I'm just like the average everyday girl that actually needs these because I have a flat foot. So who are your weekend warriors? We have some people who do the occasional 5K here and there, or they start up with the new year resolution, getting back into the gym. Problems, aches, pains start. We address the in issues with a comprehensive evaluation and then get them kind of on the right path. Uh, but we see everyone from elite athletes to some special forces individuals I've worked with. So we have all different disciplines benefiting. Now, these orthotics, I see they look like they can fit in obviously a sneaker. Can they yes. fit in any shoe? Like I'm wearing booties right now. Would these be able to fit in my booties? Yes, they fit all shoe types. We even have a specific high heel model. And even if it does fit, it doesn't fit into your exact shoe, we will make the corrective modification so that it does. We also utilize 3D scanning technology, so we can scan your exact insole in your specific shoe, if you have a certain one that you like, and make an exact copy to that. That's been beneficial for us when we design them for ski boots. We take out the insole of the ski boot and we can put it exactly in that with a perfect match. See, that would be the weekend warrior in my eyes. Somebody just randomly <laughs> skiing, because honestly, I just, I never, never thought about putting orthotics into a ski boot at all. And there are individuals who, who do require it. It is a little bit different than walking, um, but anytime the feet are on the ground, they can be in pain. So if someone's interested in getting a pair of orthotics from you at Advanced Orthotic Solutions, how does it work? So do we go online? Do we give you a call? Can you kind of give us a step-by-step -step process into joining your family actually? Absolutely. So from going on the website, they have the option to call us directly and speak with a specialist or they can schedule an appointment, which can be either in person or remote. So due to COVID, I know a lot of individuals haven't been doing in person contacts, especially at providers offices. So we would offer an in home kind of evaluation kit that will be sent free shipping directly to you. You can utilize it in the comfort of your home, send it right back to us and then we'll send you your custom pairs. We can do if you require a phone consultation. We can discuss your specific case and get the information we require. Our in-person solution, we meet at our location. We do a comprehensive examination, a functional movement screen, and then look at all the joints above and below to make sure there isn't any underlying issues and then give you the solution that you need based on that presentation. Where I find we strive into excellence is we not only give you a superior product, but we give you a solution with exercises as well. So based on your presentation, we'll give you an exercise prescription individually designed for what you need. And that's the best of both worlds and where we see leaps in prognosis with our patients. How do you get the molds? So I know you said you send us a, a test kit, but the first thing that I'm thinking of is like when you go to the dentist and they need to take a mold of your teeth, am I just putting like my foot in like foam or something that actually molds it out so you can see exactly what it looks like. Exactly. And pretty, pretty close to that. So our evaluation kits have a very soft durometer foam. So the foot goes right into it, collects kind of a match of your exact foot in a semi weight bearing so we can see how the foot moves. We then 3D scan that and that gives us the data we need based off your presentation to design the custom orthotic. Now, how long is the turnaround? If I got the kit in the mail today and I shipped it back to you, when can I actually expect my or um, orthotics to show up? 
Great question. Normally orthotics in the industry take around four to six weeks and we wanted to match that because you want the solution now. You're in pain, you want the fix. We strive with our customs to be under a week and we also have pathology specific models for if you know the pathology or discuss on the phone, we guarantee under three days to have that product to you. Now for our stinky feet friends, right? Can I wash these? <laughs> Absolutely, you can wash them. You can wipe them down. Um, they hold up. The carbon fiber is extremely resilient and stands the test of time, which is which is great. We also have on our top cover four stinky feet, an antimicrobial material that has silver in it as well in, in some of our top covers that will help to reduce like <laughs> kind this, of smells. This side, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. That's a material that will help keep the foot dry, absorb moisture, and it is perforated so that it whisks heat away. So I know you mentioned that you have a set for high heels, but if a, if somebody like myself wanted to wear like say an open-toed sandal or even a flat where it doesn't really show everything, can you make orthotics that fit those types of shoes as well? Absolutely. Absolutely. And that's kind of where the design of the high heel morphed into is we utilize materials that give the support where it needs to in the arch or the forefoot. And then it transitions down to zero on the side. So you don't even notice it in an open toad, since you don't have as much stability, we utilize kind of anchors at the front and rear so that it stays put. So you're walking on the beach or so on. Okay. So random question for, I feel like this may be something that you would get from um, a customer. Sure. So Dr. Chris, I wear my orthotics for like five weeks. Is my problem fixed? Usually in most people that you're seeing results within the first week or two, there is a break in period though. So you do need to allow the foot time to adapt because in all of our models, it is making changes to your foot. So in your case, you have flat feet. You need to give it a week or so to allow it to adjust. And if you go and put it in and wear it all day, you may be a little sore. So we have a slow breaking period, but you'll instantly notice the support if you need support in certain cases right when you put it in the shoe. And it, with our offloading kind of technology and EVA, you can instantly feel an area be supported or offloaded. Um, and then most individuals are seeing that in two weeks. Transition wise from orthotics, because people always ask, they're like, do I need to wear this for the rest of my life? In most cases, no. If you're in pain, we want to get you out of pain, make the foot or whatever body part it is, knee, hip resilient with the exercises. And then once you have that down, it's a transition from there. We don't want you to become reliant on our products. We just want to give you the tools to get pain free. Okay. I like that. Cause I don't know. I try to be, um, consistent with a lot of things. And obviously that's, I think the biggest struggle that us as humans have is the consistency aspect of it, of anything overall. So, yes. um, do you think if I wear them, you said if I wear them too much during the day, I could feel in pain. So would you recommend doing it saying for like just the eight hours that you are say out of the house or at work or while you are working out and running and not wear them all day long? Just initially for the break-in period. Once you get through the break-in period, you can wear them as much as you want. We've actually had some patients come back and say that they actually wear their shoes in the house because it's so comfy and they don't want to take their shoes off. That must be nice. Yeah. <laughs> so definitely walking Our flat specific foot. models I could show you now, where we're different than most of the industry is we have a number of features that no other orthotic has. So as you can see on this one, if anyone has a heel spur or plantar fasciitis, we have a cutout right on the heel that completely offloads that area. So on your model, it, I don't think it has it because this is a different pathology one. That's just showing the different layers of carbon fiber. So we have a harder, more resilient carbon fiber towards the midsole and then a more dynamic encompassing the rest. Uh, but on this one, I'll hold it to the camera. You can see the cutout and that's right where the plantar fascia inserts. So every step you take, if you have a plantar fasciitis, that is irritable and kind of on fire, as we say, this will cool it down by offloading that area with each step. And if you were to have a heel spur, it won't take any load while you're walking or going through your activities. Um, so that's been fantastic. Other features for offloading include a plantar fascia groove, which you can't really notice here, but on the back, it'll completely offload that area so that it's not taking any load. And then we make it resilient with the exercises and we've had fantastic results. So no color preferences, right? I can't tell you on purple or pink. And we just do gray and black carbon fiber, but what we can change is the EVA. So we have a number of variety, yellow, blue, and we could also change the top cover as well. Um, 
but for for right now we just <laughs> black and gray carbon fiber listen i'm down with the neutral colors anyway it's like when you like i'm the type that when i get like running sneakers i never get this neon random color because like, it never gonna match anything i always have to get yeah. the whites the blacks the nudes like everything that can just match everything that i own and including shoes too exactly keeping it simple so to grab your pair of aos orthotics you can head to aosorthotics.com Dr. Christopher Patrick will help you out. Thank you for showing us this this wonderful product. I actually am the, I, I may call you. <laughs> so like I, I have a flat foot and sometimes I just take Tylenol and it's just not, I shouldn't be yeah. having, I shouldn't have to continuously take that medicine just so my ankle doesn't hurt, you know? Exactly, because you're not changing anything at the angle. ankle, you're only changing the symptoms, which the medication won't affect. But the solution of exercises and orthotic absolutely will. So here's my life story, right? So I was told. <laughs> Are you actually taking Tylenol? Yeah. Really? Like, no joke. So I was yeah, told, I good. don't know if this is like <laughs> the truth or not, but I was told when I was younger that like I had a flat foot. Again, I may be yes. making this up. I had a flat foot and then I wanted, I was supposed to get surgery, but then I was telling my parents Ooh. that I didn't want to. And why they listen to a five-year-old the same way why they listen to take me out of dance when I should have stayed in dance anyway. But like, whatever. Um, so now I'm have all those repercussions of my foot in pain sometimes yeah taking tylenol is not not the best route to go down are, are you in pain daily or is it just with activity um, or i think it varies to be honest with you yeah. like it i notice that like when i wear certain sneakers or flat shoes or like flip-flops and stuff that obviously makes it worse than yeah. otherwise so i got like some new sneakers and trying to you know, balance that out. But I haven't listened to anybody that's told me to get orthotics. So maybe I'll listen to you this time around. Yeah. And have you worn any orthotics or no? I don't think so. No. I'm okay. trying to you, think. I feel like you'd probably know it if you had. I probably, I, you know what? I wouldn't be surprised if my parents gave me one, um, especially like yeah. in middle school or something. I was like, yeah, whatever. And I did it. Yeah. Cause like my dad has worn them before. Cause he has uh, the, what did you say? I think he has a plancha that, that yeah. I'm pretty sure he has that or something like it. So he gets stuff, yeah, he gets stuff made and my brother got stuff for his ankle after breaking it like X amount of times. Yeah. Tr tr traumas are much different, but if you do have flat feet, the hard part is unless you correct it, it's a pretty slippery slope because it'll progressively um, kind of get worse uh, unless you address it. And that's where we, we go in, we give you the orthotic based on what you need. Um, and then we tailor up with exercises so that you can build up the stability of your foot, because as it collapses, that will then go up the chain and affect your knee, your hip, potentially even your back and above, because you kind of have that unlocking of the foot, with the lack of stability. Yeah. I would, I would, are you completely flat on the floor or? <laughs> Do you want to see my foot? Like, <laughs> if you if you don't mind, it, it's kind of like a video conference that we do. With I'll so. show you my foot. Hold on, <laughs> people in here are gonna think I'm nuts. We're getting down. Okay, so I'll take my sock off so you can see. Oh, yeah. Just don't judge my toes because they're like <laughs> half painted. Freeze, okay. okay, so you can see like this. Yeah. Like, so but exactly, it's supposed to be like you're that. collapsing right down. Yeah. Yeah. So you don't have fully flat feet, but you do have a collapse or what we call navicular drop of the foot. So as you're non weight bearing and just standing there, your stability is pretty good, but I could even see from the bone on the back called calcaneus, it's everting out. So exactly what you just did, you brought it to neutral and then relax, boom, you go right into pronation. So that's what we want to try to avoid. Pronation is a normal movement, but if you're hanging out there all the time or going into excessive, that's a movement fault we want to correct because um, that definitely contributes to the ankle pain that you're experiencing. Um, so some orthotics would really benefit you to give you that support to kind of bring your foot to neutral. And it actually looks like you have a little bit of a Wait. bunion on, uh, <gasps> on the no! left as well. Doesn't that mean I'm getting old? No, no, I see them in, in younger individuals as well. So where is it's the, usually where is caused the... by pronation, which you exhibit. Um, so on the big toe, you see the little bit of the bump like that you have. There? Uh, nope, right, right, go back, right there. Yep. <gasps> yep, so that's a little bit of a bunion forming, um, also called hallux valgus, um, which is very common with pronation because you push on that big toe as the foot's collapsed and unlocked with each step. Also, American footwear 
especially high heels, aren't designed for function, more looks, and they compress the forefoot. So you can see as you're standing there kind of facing the camera, like you that. can see how that big toe is angling inward um, and not pointing straight ahead. So that's exactly, especially more the left, you can see how that big toe is kind of pointing out to the side, um, which isn't probably painful to you now, but it's something to address so that it progressively doesn't get worse. Is that why, I'm gonna to point to my big toe, is that why there's a lot of fat on this one side? Like there. Uh, toe splay, but it's more <laughs> from the way you're moving due to the overpronation. Okay. Um, so the way that you push off, because the foot is collapsing, you're pushing off from more of the side instead of going through a toe rocker, so going forward. Um, so when you gain stability at the foot, whether with an orthotic or exercise prescription, you'll walk with a more normal gait and get more kind of toe rocker instead of the collapse. So once again, the website is aosorthotics.com. You can check them out on Facebook, facebook.com slash aosorthotics, and as well as Instagram at aos underscore ct. Dr. Christopher, thank you so much for joining us today. And again, showing us this incredible product that you are the man behind. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me. And that's a wrap on another episode of the Brand Ambassador Select Podcast. I'm your host, Lenore. Hit that subscribe button so you never miss one. More at brandambassadorselect.com, and we will see you next time.